I have what hurts? Yes. What hurts now? <laughs> you playing football again? No, Wednesday. I I um I twisted my ankle. Doing what? Playing volleyball. There are no other things in life other than drumming. Don't even stop. Just stop going to school. <laughs> just stay at home and practice drums 24-7. Don't graduate from high school. <laughs> Do this instead. That sounds good. This is a good ankle, too. Not the bad one. <laughs> so now you're all busted up. Now, now, well, like I said, you need to start investing, you're saving to, so, saving so that you can invest in a walker. Mm -hmm. Just get it now. You don't need to wait another 60 years. Oh my God, stop hurting yourself. I, how many bones have you broken in your life? Count it up. So many that you lost count? Kinda. Oh my god. Okay. So we'll just say a lot. Mm -hmm. Ask me how many times I've broken a bone. How many? Never. Lucky. Lucky? There's nothing lucky about it. I am in control of this ship. You got yourself hurt. Mm -hmm. Not some asteroid came out of the sky chaotically interrupting your life. That chaos didn't happen, you happened. Yeah, Logan, Logan got mad at me too. Yeah, uh, well, here's the thing. Who cares if other people are mad at you or, or happy for you or whatever? Mm -hmm. It matters what you think. You should be like, ah, oh, damn. Sam and Logan are right. Getting hurt is dumb. Yeah, okay, now, but I don't know when I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, you're going to get hurt when you're playing volleyball. Because your legs don't work anyway. So big surprise you broke the other one. If, if I'm running through a jungle and fighting off leopards with only one arm, that arm is probably going to get broken sooner than if I had both arms. So because one leg is out, that means the other one is, is on thin ice. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself like a glass menagerie. Do you know what the menagerie is? A menagerie? It's a little glass figurine. Oh, yeah. Imagine one of these deer out here sculpted out of, out of glass. It's super dainty and super breakable. You are made out of glass. Your new nickname is Mrs. Glass. You can't hurt yourself doing this unless, well, you're going to hurt yourself once, and it's going to happen once, and then you're going to learn and never do it again. Bam! I think I've done that twice, actually, admittedly. Never again, though. I haven't done it in, you know, 20 years. Of course, that was during my, my you know, my stupid years. Yeah. Stop hurting yourself. For your sake, not for other people's sake, for Logan's sake, for my sake. Oh, for the sake of avoiding Sam getting mad or Logan getting No, you do it for you. Look at these prototypes I made. Wow, I was busy this week. Okay. Oh, and these two. This, these are the best ones. Play with that ridiculousness. But there's a reason why I made those. There's a, there's a, oh, uh, whatever. I, that's what I get for using Elmer's glue. Apparently Elmer's and foam don't go together. Now, what do you notice? It barely makes a sound when you barely hit it. Yeah. So therefore, you have to hit it 
in order to get a, you know, a, 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 a handsome sound out of it. Hit that thing for real. See now, now the, the, now the spring compresses all the way and then you crush that spring and, and transfer the mass of the stick then back, then down into the bar. Transfer of energy. Oh. <laughs> back to the dry board. Watch this. Oh, and it forces you, and, and what I need to put here is a thumb spot, because to, to, I could do this, or, or this, so there needs to be a, a reference point. Mm -hmm. so, but it forces you to stay at, at this turn. If you start doing it here, then it, it's screwed up. So it's a two-part two -part stick. Let's see if I can deliberately break it. Okay, back to the drawing board. Oh, and I made this too. I, I got lots of things. Watch. I put those in there too. Yes, I did. Okay, not for this. No. These are my sticks. These are my personal. How about right there, sticks? My sticks are the best. <laughs> I've given you my best before. I know. You choose which one. This. Yeah. Look at these things. These look like those those fish that fly out of the water. Yeah, yeah flying fish. All right. I'm not even gonna show. Them. I'm not even gonna show you. I'm not even gonna demonstrate. I just want you to just do it. What? Think about it. Oh, I need to adjust on your part. Okay, Dr drum. Okay, just just make it happen. Turn to whatever to whichever rotation, but make it feel good. Drum, make it feel good. Drum for real. Just pull, 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 pull. Hit that thing. Yeah. Now deliberately turn and make that thing tip one way or the other as you play. Now rotate it th out the other way. Yeah, it sucks that way because now if you do this, all that weight is going oh 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 and put in like it's it's tugging on you. So therefore, you are forced. It it wants it. There is no other way to move. Mm -hmm. Now. Really get your thumb in there. Okay, dr dr drum like that. Now do the other one. Make it look good. Okay, good. Also, notice what's up with this. What's up with that um, that little little thingamajig there? What's that all about? Why did I put that there? What, what, what function could that serve? What's that similar to? What exercise, what, what basic drumming exercise? Bingo! So now, instead of doing this, or doing both, you know, held the middle stick, hitting down here, and then hitting at here at the same time, now, the stick is just ultra crazy long, and you don't have to do that. And so you are going to get that reinforcement. So the next iteration is actually to make some sort of like hoop or some sort of ring mm -hmm. that goes up to the profile of your arm. Because then it does this, or too far this way. So there needs to be like prongs, maybe like sharp razor blades. Oh, ooh. That's you wouldn't screw it up then. <laughs> but you do like to harm yourself. Yeah. I think I have multiple. Oh, I, oh, no, 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 let me say it this way. Although you are used to getting yourself hurt, so it's not that much of a punishment. That's what I mean to say. So maybe I should load it with bullets or like there's a grenade pin that'll like fall off oh, if, you, if you do it wrong. <laughs> yeah, needs to, be a, needs to be a punishment. And you're immune to pain, apparently. So used to it. 
Okay. Uh huh. Pretty cool, eh? Mm -hmm. Now, all of these, all of these iterations will eventually equal the almighty pair. So this is me just playing around with an element, 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 with an element. And then inevitably I'll whittle it all down and take things, some elements away and add others to then equal the almighty meow face music trainer drumstick. I'm a billion millionaire. Mark my words. Watch. No, no. I, uh, okay, let's start this way. Glove. Our glove. I've been thinking about a glove for a long time, and I've been putting it off because I wanted to. Because this is a lot. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going to manufacture a product, it better be as minimal as possible, for, for you know, for for cost benefit. Like, I don't want to have this product that costs five dollars to make. No, it needs to be made for thirty-three cents so that I can actually turn a profit. Okay, put that on the hand it belongs on. Now, pick up that stick. Now squeeze this thing and like hold, hold good position and just squeeze it. Get your thumb, get your pinky wrapped around there. And so now, on this side of the post. Okay. Oh. Oh snap. <laughs> uh huh. Guess who ain't moving their thumb now? You can't even move your thumb out of the way now. You can't. You can't be dumb anymore. I'm preventing you. I'm from. I'm causing correctness. Okay, watch. Look at that element. And turn and look at the head. Look at the bead. Notice that it's like. Look. Notice that this is bulged right mm -hmm. there. So you have to hit here. Now this. This and this are a bit of redundancy because even if we turned here with that, it's going to feel weird. But yeah. it could just be one or the other. Right? So give me some good hits. Uh huh. Look at that. Mm hmm. forced to do it right. So now imagine like a combination of uh, like elements of that element, you know, like maybe that. And this is way too big. This is, this is, I realized there's, there's enough weight to where when I do turn, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like there's too much weight. I could just make this maybe halfway. Anyway, I'm reiterating. Oh, and I, I don't, did I show this to you? The um, so w heavy sticks, right? Mm -hmm. Difficult to hold on to. Uh, you know, work out to play. And if you have to squeeze extra hard to get a hold of the stick, because now I really have that stick, and I have a lot of control over it. Now that I'm touching, holding the stick. But if I go over the foam, now, now it's like I got no bones at all. Now it's like I got a hand of mush. So now I have to squeeze down even harder, therefore developing this muscle even better. Okay, okay, but before we deviate from that, do this with me. Here, I'll, oh, uh, that's left, lefty. Okay, right, left. This is right. Oh. Oh, that's what's supposed to be there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, now now do this. Do give me some push pull. Like oh, do 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 hold hold your hands still. You know, hold your uh, 
hold it, everything still, and just do it with your fingers. No wrists, just fingers. Open your hand. And bring your arm to where it, like, hold your arm where it needs to be. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, these are ones that are really attacky. This one, there's a there's a screw mm -hmm. that I put in there. So there's like a metal there's a metal screw right there with a with a rounded head. And so then it's a little bit oblong. Hit a few things with those. Pretty cool, eh? Because now, okay, this stick is designed for when we're not diddling, when we're not bouncing. <laughs> Watch this. Because because, because, let's start fresh. Okay, because, yeah, this is the right, right in. Because, if my, if my fingers are locked, oh, that's a little bit, oh, that, oh, that was a little bit too tight. Okay, all right. So now if my fingers are locked onto it, like I can't, my fingers can't, it's, I can't take it off if I want to. My fingers are with it the whole time. Mm -hmm. So this isn't going to be for diddling, which I could do. Actually, I, I, I played around with it enough. Oh. oh, am I hitting something underneath? Oh, that needs more mush. So actually I can bounce it pretty well because then I just come off and then there's not too much tug on there because there's slack. So I am, I am able to get some bounces out of there, but the idea of where I'm going with this is to create something where you would just practice the kinds of strokes where the fingers don't ever leave the stick. Like this is a keep your damn fingers on the, on the stick glove. Okay. Uh, back to the prototype on that one. Prototype. Oh. Yeah, those are those are basic. All right. Give me some good fat double stops with those. Notice that you have to squeeze onto those really tight. I should tape those off so they're in the same spot each time. Don't you whack the edge of that. I'm going to murder you if you do that. Because it's going to be loud. Now squeeze harder. Squeeze tight. Like really just. Thumb on stick. Oh my god. Thumb on. You're losing all of your power because you don't. You, your thumb isn't on the stick. I'm going to make it break you. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta squeeze tighter, and they're heavy sticks, so it's 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 a it's a it's an effort. Okay, do some big ones with me. Bigger. That's that prototype. And actually, I'm gonna put you in these, maybe for the rest of the lesson. These are, these are the OGs, these, these, these are originals. This is like from, this is from October. Okay, how, how does this go? Put my thumb. Oh yeah. Put my th oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, that's that, and that feels nice and firm because there's no elasticity to it because it's it's duct tape and Velcro. Okay. 
do this with your right hand. Turn. This is going to pull this way, and your thumb is going to cinch down on that, trapping your index there. And then this comes around and finishes the deal. OK. Gra gra grab the stick, like grab it the way, and just like, oh, death grip, death drummer's grip. And now let, let, me, let me get a bit, let me uh, let up on the thumb so I can get this in there. OK, now squeeze down on that. Now, this one doesn't have, well, there actually is a turn element of which rotation. You don't want to see pink on these. I was back to my original color identification, like pink, no pink, and hi hide the pink. And then I have black lights in between here to like really illuminate it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Left hand. And then get uh, get 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 a get a drummer's grip. Thumb. Ooh. Mm. Did I get on there? Let me see some strokes. Let me, let me feel this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Look at this. I have a little, I have a little drawer. So cute. <laughs> oh, on the, oh, look, this actually looks like a torture device. This is, this is something. Okay. Right wrist. Square. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. This needs to go further up the hand. This needs to go right on the edge. That needs to be straight. Show me a good position. See what's about to happen. The back of that stick now has a narrow, narrower pathway that is parallel with gravity because of the chains. At this time, I need to. Oh, I need to cut that right there. Give me some hits. Yeah, your thumb goes down on the first piece, the other piece wraps all up. Yeah, it works. Now, okay, now play French grip. Now turn over and play up this way. Yeah, clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> Punishment for doing it wrong. So now you have to do it right. Oh, snap. Another brilliant idea. <laughs> that one definitely goes back to the drawing table, though. All right. And I'll come to you. Easier. Oh. Prototype, a duplicate. It's twice the work. Oh, maybe, maybe I can just stay. All right. 
No, more. Okay, too far. I want your stick. So at this angle, when you're when you're down, when you're in your playing position, mm -hmm. uh, scoop forward one inch. <clears throat> oh, there it was. Give me some big rights. Yeah, I'll torch you with that. It's a good angle. Okay, and and we're gonna look at some sheet music right now. Thumb curl. Oh, because the damn Velcro detomana. We're gonna take care of this problem right now. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't move. Or forever be oh. That might actually be better. Or forever be glued to this stick, which I wouldn't think would be a bad thing. Because mm -hmm. then you have to practice all the time. Did I need blue in that one? That's not the one I want anyway. All right, all right. Always store your super glues super tight and upside down because you don't want this, if it's up, then this will dry out. Mm -hmm. So you want your tip submerged. Skills, baby, skills. Okay. Oh, I did it again. What the flip? Okay, this is gonna be potentially a lot. I think I just flip it upside down, hold it there for a moment, then flip it over and then see if I got any. What the? I know there's glue in there. Come on now. There it is. Oh, mercy. Okay, that'll be enough, and then I can just slide it around on the surface it's going to go on to, which is. Okay, now come put pressure on all four corners somehow for a few seconds. All right, that's good. Super glue is quick. And super glue dries extra quick if you sprinkle it with baking soda. Oh, brother, oh, I need to put a base on that so this doesn't fall. Okay, oh, brother again, oh my. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, oh, you poked a hole in the back. What did you do? It's all your fault. It's not, oh. my, it's not my crappy product. Okay. <laughs> now, see, um, make this line be parallel with this one. So get comfortable, make that parallel. Move your chair, whatever you want to do. There you go. Get squared up to that thing. Let me uh, get tape that off. Oh, I see 
with that. Is it the Velcro? Oh, I only have Vel Oh, okay. I see what I need to do. I need to add a touch of Velcro, which is, here it is. on the top and it's which one it's the, it's the hook side Better. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see what's going on. This needs to rotate. Yeah, 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 I get it. Whatever I thought, that a drum teacher would have so much crazy stuff. Okay. Okay, back to the drawing board on that. Let's read some music. It's, oh, you look so professional. Wow. <laughs> Who's your teacher? Now the idea is that you play in the mold that I give you and then then you take the mold off and then you are molded to that. That's the idea. Hence mold. I'm going to put a jello mold over you. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's start with this one. What's up with that? Why is it called shifting accents? First measure one accent on the first, second measure on the second. Each accent shifting. Put it in a better language. One E and a two E and a three E and a the E of two. two. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the E of one. One E and a one E and a one E and. and so the accent is on and, and then the accent is on and uh. Okay, I gave you that. Oh, there's more. So these are all the drum. There's there it is. There it is. These are all the, the drum line exercises of mine that I've written out, and they're not all mine, my creation. You know, good old eight on a hand. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't put that one out because mostly there's a bunch of things to read here. Eight on a hand, everyone knows that. We don't need it written out, but eight on a hand, but then I have things, I have things to read at the bottom. It's smart music, okay. And you're gonna perform all this on stage with a whole audience holding t rotten tomatoes ready to throw as you play this. And if you get, and the, I'm gonna pan out the music to the whole audience and we're gonna know if you got it right. And, it's, and the command to the audience will be, as soon as she gets one little, one little time, just pelt her in the face as hard as you can with the tomato. The avoidance of punishment. But then, see, there's two, there's two approaches. The avoidance of punishment or the, the desire for, for reward. You see how the two are very different? Like, I am the king of the world and I command you to get into that factory and make goods for me and I'm not going to pay you. Do it. And if you don't, I'll kill you. So now, in that scenario, you're avoiding 
bad. But if I say, hey, welcome to the world. Uh, I've have, uh, I have a bunch of enterprises here, and you can come work, and, and I'll pay you a bunch of money, and then you can build your enterprise and build you up as a human, right? Then that's the good. So you, a person could be motivated to avoid bad or to go towards the good. And I use both. I use both, like, whipping punishments. I should get a whip. Bam! Oh, I know. I'll just hold a whip at the, at, the, at the recital, at the showcase. I'll just be in the front row staring at you and just swinging it slowly and just, and if you screw up, bam, I'm gonna reach out, reach out and crack you. Okay, tell me that wouldn't work. Okay. Play that. Take it as slow as you need to go. I do not care how fast each of those notes go by. What I care about is that you or that your brain understands and does it right. What I don't want you to do is do it wrong once. What I do want you to do is okay, first one starts with right. And that first one on beat one of bar one. I have an accent, so that's a loud one. And then, oh, I noticed that, okay, left, right, left, right. So these are alternating strokes, right? So I know that this is a right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left exercise. It's not a double thing. It's an alternating strokes exercise. And then I noticed that, oh, I put an accent on down beat one, two, three, four, and then the E of one, two, three, four, the and of one, two, three, four. Okay, do this. Right hand, loud. Okay, next one is a small left. Okay, right. next one is a small right. Next one is a small left. And then repeat, even if it takes you that slowly. But notice I didn't screw it up. Now it gets screwed up because you're playing it not in tempo and it's not danceable, but it's not a thing yet. Play that. Slow as you need to go. What's, what, what hand is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm, do that. Say it, one E and a two E and a three E. Slow as you need to go. Starts with which hand? Right, left, right, left, right. Starts with the right, left. The, the, nothing on the first time around is anything but right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. This is right hand lead exercise. One, E, e and the two. E and the uh, and and then also right, left, right, left. Slow as you need to go. If okay. True or false? If this exercise starts with the right and continues right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 then the downbeat of beat two would be a left hand. The downbeat, if I'll if I'm just doing right, left, 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 right, 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 left, and I'm continuing that pattern, then therefore the downbeat of bar two is left hand, true or false. The whole exercise is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 right. So therefore, the downbeat 
is it going to be a right hand? Trick question. I said, is left hand? And the answer is false. No more trick questions. Let's play this. From the top, where does it go? One, two, three, four. Big, small, small, small. Three, E, and a four, E, and a right, left. Yeah, there's no deviation from this. Say this with me. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three. Oh, sorry. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two or one one. <laughs> 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 and 2 and a, a, a 1. One, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4. I've been so used to teaching my, uh, grade schoolers. I, I don't say 1 e and a, to, to, I just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 to second graders who are doing this like nine times slower than you are. So it makes sense just to keep it simple. Okay. All right, slow. Right side go. Just do this, but I'm going to follow you. Two. Now here comes the right. Is it small or big? Small. Okay. Let's just do the first measure into the downbeat of two. Is that downbeat? Does the downbeat have an accent? Does the downbeat have an accent? Point to what an accent is. Yeah, the little that little symbol. Does the downbeat, oh, did I mark it up? It looks weird. That says two, that's, oh, well, I should say one. I was thinking the second bar. One, one E and a, two, E and a three, E and a four, E and a. Small. So we're gonna just do the first bar, end on beat, end on the, right there, just gonna end on the downbeat, which is accented or non-accented. Look at it. The, is the downbeat of bar two, does it have an accent? Right on the downbeat. The, when I say downbeat, I mean bar one. Beat one. The, down, the quote unquote downbeat mm -hmm. is beat one. There are no other downbeats. Downbeats are no other thing other than beat one of at the top of the bar. The downbeat is beat one. Mm -hmm. So on beat one, is there a little squiggle there? Oh, no, a squiggle there. There's not. But where is there a squiggle? Where is there an accent? Yeah, on the second of the 16th notes. And therefore, we would say that the, that the accent falls on the what of what? What letter is, what letter is, is written there? The... The E of one, the and of one, the uh of one, B2, the E of B2, the and of B2, the uh of B2. So the accent, starting on the second bar, bar one, two, three, four, mark here, it's on the E. Mm -hmm. Watch me do it. And a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. I'm shifting the accent of fours. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
bait happens on beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. That's where I would explain it to, uh, you know, my second grader, which I agree is easier to con to conceptualize when doing this basic stuff. Of course, it matters when we get further down into the rabbit hole of, of music and you know, doing it for real. Then then the language is crucial. Is as it is crucial now for especially for your understanding. Okay, bar one only. To the downbeat of one, point to the last beat we're going to play. If I say we're only going to play bar one, point to the downbeat of bar two. Bingo. Yeah. So we're going to end on a right or a left. The last beat we're going to hit oh. is beat one, right. and, it's, and it ends on a right, which makes sense given that we've been just doing this the whole time. Right, 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 right. So the flow of it is this the whole time. None of this, what beat bar two is not going to look like? Yeah, bar one. one two, three. That's not what it's going to do. Notice I broke my pattern. that super dirty and I think I did it wrong for a moment but that's where this is going that's what that is look at my hands Tell me what my pattern is. What, what am I doing in the hands? Rights and lefts. Did I ever go right, right? Ever go left, left? No. Stop to bar two. To the downbeat of bar two. We're going to stop on that right hand, which is not accented. But the previous ones are accented, so it's going to be a little bit different. So don't end it loud. Phrase I go, I'll follow you. And soft. Now again, but then the last beat we'll do is that accent. Bugga digga, bugga digga, bugga digga, 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 digga. Bop, bop. But then, okay, so now do this. Right, left. Right, left. Yeah, those, that's the same dynamic. Small, big. Oh my god. Hit that thing for real. There we go. All right. This is, this is too important right now to have your brain distracted by. My weirdness. Okay, let's free up the brain power. Okay. Now just hold that mold. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah, so that you don't have to wear that. I wouldn't want to wear that. It's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Do ba. All right, good. I was right to take this off. Okay. Downbeat to the E of one. Bugga digga, bugga digga, bugga digga, bugga digga, bop bop. Yep. Race I go. I'll follow you. Hit it for real. Small, big, yes. Okay, now, now just bar two. One, E and uh, two, E and uh, three, E and, count it out. One, 
do this. Do just just right hand. Say this. Uh, one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh, just with one hand. Two e hit that thing for real. Ah, uh, this is where the spring sticks would come in handy, but I don't want to mess with that. Because if you're doing the spring sticks, then all of these would just basically be silent, and then you'd have to really hit. Mm -hmm. So differentiate big notes, big small notes. Finish the sentence. Notice I wrote the word big, big, and I wrote the word small, small. Very cute. Okay. Don't not do this. Make the big notes big, make the small notes small. I don't even want to hear the small notes. I don't even want to hear them. I want it to sound like this. That's how much I want you to differentiate. Okay, do this first. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Which is what you're doing, but you're just starting here. So think of it as if you are just so left, right, left, right. Just think of it normal. Left, right, 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 Say one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one. Okay, now you see how you see that you are doing that one E and uh, two, but now we're, it's going to be one E and uh, two E, two E and uh, say the numbers. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, small. And then always, always finish the bar. Always finish what you're playing to the downbeat of the next thing. Three E and uh, four E and uh, one. First two bars, go and count it out. Don't screw it up. Don't make me beat you. Basically. Yep. To the de okay. To the downbeat of bar one. To the downbeat of bar three. Two bars only. Go. I'm gonna kill you if you screw this up. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, obviously. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that she's laughing, she'll probably get it right because she's loosened up. <laughs> she's she's relaxed. If she was tense and like, oh my God, he's actually angry, then you then this would be nothing. You wouldn't get anything done. You'd be trapped in fear. Uh, two, three, e, and, uh, three, e, and uh, four, e, and uh, one, e, and uh, two. Ooh, you almost screwed it up. E, mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Be afraid. <laughs> okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, right, left, three. Two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, small. Good. You're lucky. That was a bit of a See? <laughs> she responds to fear. <laughs> I should just bring a chainsaw on here and just ram, ram, like right above you the whole time. Focus! 
That would be hilarious. <laughs> and it would work. Maybe. Although that might be a little bit too stressful. You know why you screwed that up? Because you ain't counting. Count the whole dig. Di count the whole diggity. I even write the whole diggity. To you write the whole diggity. You get this into your hands. Write out the counts above each each little doodad. Lefty. Oh my god. I mean, I can do it with my right. Do it. Don't. Yes. My blood pressure is going up watching you do it with your left hand. Which is better penmanship? If you had to like write a super romantic love note to someone you wanted to be like perfect, would you do it with your right or your left? My left. Okay. <laughs> Count out the things. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Oh, here, just take normal sticks. Oh, were you were just using these? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they got and I've got glue on them. That's why it was not kicking, getting off. It was oh. stuck to my thumb. Yeah, it's excuses, excuses. Play this. One and three. Four, two, three, and uh, three, and a four, e and a two, e and a three, e three, e and a four, e and a small. Okay, now, here's how we do this. This is, this is what you're gonna learn today. Oh, look, how cute. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, <laughs> perfect, oh, such good user experience. Okay. Transitions. The way you're going to learn stuff and put stuff like this together is via the concept of transitions. Point of those eight beats, point where you're, where you're like, where it's not perfect. Yeah, right during the blank between this and that, the mm -hmm. what? What is that word? Say it, transition, the transition from there to there. The transition from here to there. The transition from here to there. S do that again. <laughs> I'm going to see if you're trying, if I'm see if you're to read my mind or not. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Do it right. Yes, good, I didn't have to explain it. The transition. So, let's work on the transition from, we'll just call this one, two, three, four. The transition from one to two. So, four E and a one, E and a two. And then end on beat two. Mm -hmm. So just these two beats plus the downbeat of the next. Four E and a two. Oh, and I said two because it's phrase two. One E. One E and a. One E and a. One E and a. Yep. One E and a. Okay, now do the transition. As slow as you need to go. Four E and a. One E. Yeah, good. Now, make sure that that accent is there. Four, literally, literally do it this exaggerated. Good, good. I'm glad that happened. Not that that <laughs> happened, but I'm glad that you were going for it enough to where it, you know, slipped out of your hand like a slippery fish. It shows me that there was force, which is all this is, is refined violence. Mm -hmm. I'm just teaching you the ways of violence. Refined violence. 
Yeah, that's the transition. 4E and a 1E and a 2. Do the transition beat four to beat one equal to beat two to the next power. Good. All right, bar one and two to the downbeat of three. Where does that go? So three, yep, downbeat of three. Okay. Top to the down, down, top to three. In shorthand, top to three. If I said top to three, that means Top to three. Okay. Top to three. If you ever hear a conductor say that, that's what he means. And uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one. Good. Faster go. Don't anticipate failure. <laughs> anticipate success and just do it. Faster. Do you realize that if you think you're you, if you think you're screwed up, you will? Do you know what a self-fulfilling prophecy is? Do you know what a prophecy is? Oh, I can predict the future. You predict oh. your own future. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> it's as easy. Think of it like that. Three E and L. Four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Didn't screw it up. <laughs> oh, might I know what you're capable of more so than what you think you're capable of? I think so. <laughs> now, okay, screw that. We got that. Now practice bar three to the, do three to four. Three to four. To the downbeat of four. And uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one. Good. Now do this. Practice these two beats. Practice the transition from phrase two, two to three. Look at it. Take it as slow as you can go, pardon me, and just <laughs> read it. Oh, wait. From he here to here. <laughs> Don't screw it up. From there to there. Huh? Yep. Last beat of bar two. Mm -hmm. To then all of beat one of bar three. Four, one. Bingo. Again. <laughs> Four, wait. Okay. Four, e and uh, say say the damn numbers louder than your your plane, but still make this big. Do it loud. I'm gonna put a megaphone up to you and make you scream it and open all the windows. How about <laughs> no. that? No, 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 no. Four e and. Uh, <laughs> Give my parents heart attacks down there. <laughs> no, no, mm -hmm. heart no heart attacks. No heart attacks. Do it. <laughs> Don't screw it up. <laughs> Do it right. <laughs> There's no giggling allowed. Do it. <sighs> mm -hmm. Good. Deep breath. Good. You know how to self regulate now. You're getting an, an idea. Apply this to the rest of your life whenever you feel stressed. Deep breaths always. See, we're not learning we're not learning drums here. We're learning how to do life. I'm teaching you how to human through this. This is teaching you patience, it's teaching you diligence, it's teaching you how to read things, it's teaching you how to compute in your brain, it's it's teaching you how to do eye hand coordination, brain reading communication. You're learning how to human through this conduit. Yeah, four E and a uh, one E and a uh, two. Four E and a uh, 
one E and a two. And then always finish up the phrase. Okay. Again. For E and a. For E and a. For E and a one and two. Uh, one E and, yeah. One E. I'll get it right. Here we go. For E and a one E and a two. Okay, now do bar three to the downbeat of four. Three to four. If I say three to four, then play three to four. Oh. Not three and four. Three to I'm four. Too yeah. Much. I'm overthinking. Yeah, it. it's because you're not breathing. Okay, do it. <sighs> and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, good. E recover. Okay. You switch leads, but at least you finish yeah. the phrase. Do it again. What time did you get here? Ish? Six. Six? Okay. All right. All right. All right. And the last thing. And this is, let's finish this up. Play the last bar. Don't screw it up. Two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Oh wait, it has an accent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, duh. I didn't see it. Read I didn't it. See it. I didn't see it. All of this is here for you to read. I didn't see it. I... Do it and don't have your eyes be. See, this is this is you. This is me teaching you how to like maintain focus. Don't watch any videos less than five minutes. Does that sound like, oh my God, what is he talking about? How is that even possible? Don't watch shorts. Don't watch any short videos. Don't watch any six second things. Watch five minutes or more videos only. Attention span. All of your peers are screaming. For sure. But what you have that they don't is that they're doing a real life, actually applying to humanity, to your own living things. This is as real as it gets. Play from the top, don't screw it up. Okay. Then we're gonna kill you. And say the numbers the whole time. <sighs> yep, good, deep breath, good. Whatever you want to start. I'm, no, I'm in no hurry. Two E and uh, three E and uh, four E. Good recovery. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, right left right left. Two E and a uh, three E and four uh, E and a uh, one. Uh oh. You got so excited. Oh my God! I actually finished it. Read the information. Oh, so I never get it. I'm stealing <laughs> some of your water. It's okay. Take a sip of that. It's warm. Hot water is the drink of kings. Oh, thirsty were you? Don't get dehydrated. Every morning, this is what you're going to do from now on for the rest of your life. It's the beginning of the rest of your life right now. What you're going to do for the whole rest of your life is part of your nighttime ritual is to put a glass of water, bam, a big tall glass of water right there on top of whatever me. your alarm clock is. What's your alarm clock? Is it your phone? Okay, this is what you're going to do. Give me, where's your phone? It's dead. Okay, good. <laughs> good. We don't want it for distraction anyway. So, okay, this is your phone. Okay. And this is your big tall glass of water. Twice as big as this. You're going to put your water on top of your phone. What if my phone always falls under the bed? 
get your life together. Put it somewhere where it ain't gonna fall. Actually, in fact, in fact, do this. All right. You want to know what I did in college? I'm, I put my brain. I turned on my brain, and I got smart. And my life's already getting better. This is what I did when I was 21 years old. I was living in San Diego at a house with two Chinese brothers. One played the violin. One played the cello. Oh, okay. And we had a hoot. In that house, while all of us going to San Diego State and being music majors together, music majors together, a bunch of dorks. <laughs> it's okay. We, okay, oh, so in that house, I was in the, the, from the front door, I was in the back right bedroom. In that bedroom, I had an alarm clock, like an old school, it's only an alarm clock. It's an alarm clock. It's not your phone that has an alarm clock thing on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't have a smartphone. Mm, like my phone, phones. my phone in college was one of those like indestructible little Nokia things. Oh my. It was old school. Yeah. I didn't have, we, and thank God too, or I wouldn't have graduated. I would have been so distracted with, you guys are so screwed. Your attention spans, oh! How the, are, the students argue with the teachers when they take away their phones? Why are the phones even brought to school in the first place? The teachers actually have to. They, okay, okay. Ra, 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 ra. When every single student who enters the building, they need to put their phone in their phone cubby that's this big, and they get a key for it, and they put it on a on a three inch string and they swallow it the whole day so it's really protected because you know your peers, oh my god, my phone, it's, it's, their, it's their life, it's their blood. Yeah. If, meaning if you didn't have blood or blood or breath, you would die. So, don't get me on a soapbox about classroom management. Okay. No, not classroom management. Okay, what, what was my point? What were we talking about? Breathing. Yep, good. Now, get this up faster than I can play it by next week. Set a metronome. The hardest one is the second one. Because that's weird. Like the accent happens right after the downbeat. So it sounds like it's late. It, sa it sounds weird. It's not a good rhythm. It's not a rhythm you'd ever want to play consecutively like that. You would want to accent the and, the E of, the E. You would want to accent E somewhere in, like in the context of some other phrase. I more said that for the camera. Don't play it wrong, ever. And I'm, I am dead serious. Don't play it wrong, ever. But the balance is that you get to do what? What's the balance of that? If I'm, if I'm gonna demand that you never make a mistake, then how, what, okay, well that's an extreme request. Well then, how, how where's the balance? Yes. You get to take it as slowly as you need to go. Go, go, when you go home, on noche, get in the car, in the garage. Where, where do you guys keep the car? Where, where's like, which car, if you're gonna get in the back seat and practice, which car would it be? Mm, we don't have a garage, we actually just park it in the Which car would you be? It would be... Does, do you guys have a driveway, is it on the street? Like, give me the visual of your Clubhouse. So, apartment, our car is like on the other side of the community garbage. Okay. Away from the Go garbage. out there, don't get kidnapped. <coughs> bring your pad, bring your sticks, bring your Met, and bring nothing else. Although your Met is probably your phone. Turn, do not disturb, on. Mm -hmm. No notifications, no nothing, no Instagram, no nothing. I don't like Instagram. Good. 
Instagram doesn't like you. Instagram doesn't like anyone, which is why it's ruining everyone's life. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's sentiently evil. Sentient means consciously. Mm -hmm. Okay, do this, get this down, and, and let me put this in order of, of how, okay, get this down. Eight on a hand, that's, that's the good old, good old uh, Actually, opener. The one thing that's fully starting to bother me, it, I keep doing this, this thing. Like yeah, good. Well, at least you know it. I am like, I'm scared. I might get yelled at. So I'm like, slow it down. Oh, who would yell at you? Logan. Good. Logan hits good. me in the hand. Good. 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 With one of the good. Um, xylophone mallets. If I was to open up one of my weekends to group lessons to bring over you, Logan, and, and my, my, my other kid who's 10, he's... he's He's, he, he would fit in with, yeah, Flint, he would fit in with us. Just look at that. Look at how cute that is. 35. He's going up and look at me. Yeah, he's 10. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get stronger than you really yes, fast. He's about quickly. to hit adolescence. Yeah. Very quickly. Boys be strong. Okay, so now. Yeah, for sure. As you know, <laughs> broken leg. All right. And yet the teacher did never let me rest. My foot. She made me walk. Okay, well, life Very isn't life if it's, life isn't life if it doesn't involve suffering. Okay, look, I'm gonna count this as as, as fours. One, two, three, four. 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 I'm dropping the fourth sixteenth note. That's why it's called drop four, three, two, one. Here, I'm dropping the third one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then here I'm dropping the two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two. then drop the one. Drop the one. One. E and a two. E and a three. E and a four. E and a. Hmm? Yeah. See see where I was trying to get you to think last night through the text? Yeah. Until I got it the last minute. <laughs> did you figure it out last night? Did, did it click over in your brain? Yeah, like at first I was confused and then I'm like, wait a minute. So like, I was like literally walking in the middle of the street, just looking and like figure, trying to figure it out. And I did held up a lot of cars, but. Okay. Know. You get to go as slow as you need to go. Yeah. If you need to cross the street slowly, to guarantee your safety, although you kind of want to get off the street as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. Do okay. Your 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 binder. Your wh wh what do you guys call it these days? The thing that keeps all your papers that you take to school every day is your what? Folder. Folder. Does the, do those folders have three rings? Is it a three ring thing or is it just like a slip thing? Uh, it's just a ring. Good. Well. Look how nice I am. I have three whole bunches by hand by like one, two, three, and I even got a template and I nailed it. Look at that. Boom. So ready to go. Put it in your damn folder. Your I folder. Really use it everywhere too. Us kids in the 90s, we used to call them trapper keepers. <laughs> you ever heard that term ever? Yeah. Trapper keepers, binders. Never heard it called My a folder. Teachers. So the kids these days call their binders folders. If it's binders with the rings, binders. If it's folder, it's folder. Okay, what do you have? I use both. Oh. Well, put this where you, it's going to... Fact. I have three folders. My binder, fold, normal folder, and my music folder. But I always carry my music folder everywhere with me. In fact, let me... I think I might have a stapler right here. I'll just make this a book. It'll be easier to carry around. You don't lose it, any stuff. Ah. Ba -ba -ba Do we have a stapler?
Ah, uh, yes. Sleeping beer. Sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna open this thing. Let's just try it. All right, just pull it. Yes. Thank you. Okay, boom, boom. Now, let's get it right on the edge. Ooh, this is a nice one. Wow, this is the first staple I've ever used where I didn't have to like put my put grip strength into it. This is a, this is a, this is one from this is one for old ladies. And my mom's an old lady, so this is her staple. It makes sense. And then, then you, what you can do to make life easier, like later, is to pre-fold each one of these, mm -hmm. just so that it's like ready to go. Play, play shifting accents. Hmm? Play shifting accents. Do the whole thing. One e and a two e and a three e. Well, e and a two e and a. Sh shifting accents is the name of the exercise. Oh. Louder. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E. Work on that transition. understand it <laughs> play it the whole way home play it the whole way home just hands legs whatever boyfriend's carrying the drumstick right now okay, okay good play on the dash and get him to say the numbers with you and then he can do it on the stream wall but you know don't hit your deer oh yeah he's scared of hitting deers <laughs> deers deer <laughs> Deer. Deer is pl deer, deer. Look at that deer over there. Look at those deer. Okay. Not deers. No one helped me with deers. It's understandable. Yeah. If my parents didn't, your, your parents just don't speak English. No, they don't. Uh, yeah, if I, my parents didn't speak English, I, if my parents didn't speak English either, I might not have figured out all the pieces too. Moose is another word. Moose. That moose, those moose. Fish, that fish, those fish. Not fishes. I never liked all those mooses, fish. No. Mooses ain't a word. No. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. I hate it too because it's, it's not a word. I and hate non-words. And then when people are, when people that say mooses, I'm like, that's not a word. Oh, like, okay, at least you knew that one. And I'm like, and they yell at me like, why you're. You're still learning English. Your English is bad. Why are you correcting me? I'm like, okay. Yeah, well, you can say to them, well, just because I don't know some things doesn't mean I know no things. Oh, snap. <laughs> Learn the whole packet. Have Juan teach you. Have Logan work out with you. That There's nothing unlearnable on here. This is just loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, and then taps two, three, four. So every one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Don't be fooled by the way it looks. It's just accenting every third, but it's still in the format of you know fours and twos and you know eighth notes and four of them. Yeah. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a yeah, and so write the counts out here too. Note you, you, you see what I'm doing. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. I'm saying the scaffolding of one E and a two E and a three or one and two and three and four and because mm -hmm. it's written in eighth notes, not one E and a two E and a. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and my voice is going just counting to 4 every time. 
So that's what that one is. You understand what this one is? Yeah. And and look at this. That's that first beat is a what? Sixteenth, eighth, thirty second note. What is that? It's got two. It's got two thingamabobs touching it. What are these? Eighth notes, sixteenth notes, quarters. What are those? What kind of notes are those? Hmm? What kind of notes are these? These are all what? If a if a if a note if a if a note stem, okay, check this out. The circle, the little squiggly circle, that's called a note head. This, the the bar, the, the line that goes up and down, it's mm -hmm. called a stem, like mm -hmm. the stem of a flower. The the these that go across, be it eighth, be it uh, eighth notes or what kind of notes are those? They get one beam. This this bar is called a beam. Mm -hmm. This has one beam, so therefore this note is a, if there's one beam touching its stem, no matter if it's shared, those are eighth notes. Eighth notes, okay. Eighth notes, if, therefore if one beam equals an eighth note, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, what is what are these? If these are eights with one beam, then with two beams, they become C becomes sixteenth notes. So, look at this. This. Look at only that. This note head, on its on its stem, mm -hmm. it has how many beams touching it? How many little squiggles are there? How many how many fat lines are touching the stem? It's just that one right there? Yeah. So this stem, look at only. Only two is touching. Yeah. One, yeah, two. So check this out. So it's 16. So that is a 16th note. This is a Six. 16th. Mm -hmm. And there, and, but, but this is a what? Six. How many beams are touching the stem? One. One. So therefore it's a. What note? Six. What kind of note is that? Six. This is a 16th with two. If that's an eighth note, what kind of note is this? How many? Yes. So therefore, this sixteenth note, mm -hmm. this sixteenth note plus an eighth note, does that equal the whole beat? An eighth plus an eighth, or an eighth plus two sixteenths, that equals all sixteenths because, mm -hmm. yeah. So sixteenth, and then. We could we could we could have written this like this. Could have written it like this. And then put a sixteenth note rest in there. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the dumb way to write it. The fewer squiggles on the page, the better. The less the 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 musician has to read and all the, the fewer squiggles the better. That's the way this could be written. Sixteenth note, sixteenth note, sixteenth note rest in between. But it's a sixteenth plus a sixteenth plus an eighth, which equals the value of all four sixteenths. Mm -hmm. So this one drops the fourth beat. This one drops the third beat. Second this one drops beat. the second beat. Yeah. First beat. That's what's up with that one. Okay, double beat. Now, if you've got this down, mm -hmm. if you understand that two beams touching a stem is a sixteenth, one beam touching stem. I'm going to put beams in quotes. So that's a new that's a new vocabulary word. And then stems, touching stem, it's another mm -hmm. vocabulary word. One beam touching stem equals an eighth note. 
two beams touching stem equals what? One beam equals an eighth note. Two beams equals sixteenths. Exactly. <laughs> Music math. Good. Good. It, you're applying it and it's it's working. Now, if you know how to if you understand this, then you already understand this. That looks like nuts. That looks crazy, right? But it's not. You just gotta break it down. Yeah. What is that? Sixteenth note or eighth note? That's a sixteenth. What's this one? Sixteenth. Now, of the four beats, one, two, three, four. Which one is missing? Yeah, this one is missing, the third one. One E, a two E, one E, a two E, a three E, a four E. Da. And then you, you can do mutes too. Or one E and a two E, a three E, a four E, a one. You can continue doing the pattern, but then you can just And then that graduates into. <laughs> now, if you can do that, if you if you know how to read music, then you know how to do this. Work it out with Logan and Juan. And oh, and this squiggle means. It's a. What what is that? What does that mean? It's a roller buggy. It's a diddle. Oh wait, diddle. Oh. That's why it's called triple diddle. Diddles in the word. Oh. This is a diddle. So therefore. Oh, but the other way to write this, the alternative way to write this is, okay, one, two, three. The alternative way to write this is this. Oh. Bop, 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 one and two, three, or one and two, three, one and two, three. And so this is just two. That just means two, but it's a diddle because because okay we could we could do that this way right right left um, ba, 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 yeah but also we could write that like this like right left right left but now that's not the sticking we want we want specifically the sticking of the diddle this one goes like this Triple it, triple it, ba 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 ba. Triple it, triple it, ba 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 ba. Watch it go by. I'll play the whole thing. One two, and then point with your finger. One two three, two two three, ba 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 ba. One two three, one two three, ba 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 ba. One two three, one two three, one two three and one two three and one two three. Two, three, one and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two and three and one, two and three and one, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Back here. Ready, set, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, da ba 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 That's how that one goes. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, ba 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, ba 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, ba 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 ba. That's what's up with that. Take this home. Go be good. Don't watch any dumb videos. Oh, and then this one, and then you can look at that one too. But just priorities: eight on a hand. Make eight on a hand sound like a dream. Yeah, Walker.